Seriously. Seriously. I think the time that we got to spend with each other um, when we were at the hotel essentially because we were all on the same floor the quarantine kind of turned into from a bad thing to a good thing because we all got to bond and spend time with each other. I probably had this moment where I was just like wow we're finishing a series of films we're in Bulgaria we're all here together this is kind of a magical moment and it's something to be grateful for. I think any scene that was shot outside because a lot of the outfits I was wearing were very short and it was it was very cold outside. I was freezing and I had a suit and multiple layers whereas Joe and the other girls are in, you know, yeah, dresses and heels and they can't layer up as much. So the forces of nature are often the kind of biggest obstacles. The scenes at the start of the film where Tessa meets her father, I really enjoyed working with Atanas because he's just a wonderful actor and it was really cool to see that because Tessa's father's absent for the first two movies. We realised we're very rarely all in on set together so for the few times where we did all get to act in the same scene together or at least in the group. I think her curiosity and her intelligence and Tessa's ability to forgive and her strength and she's very resilient. She's been through a lot and I think she's slowly over the course of these films starting to shut down because there's a lot that's going on in her life. He's incredibly intelligent, super independent. The things he cares about, he cares with his whole heart and um, is extremely loyal and passionate about. His dress sense at times can be quite uncomfortable, but um, he looks cool, so it's okay. Her dress sense at times? <laughs> maybe also, I think she has a lot to learn, and I don't want to judge her. <laughs> maybe, maybe her perspective on certain things. Sometimes it can feel like, what if there was something else that could take its place? Like, are we doing enough? Are we doing the right thing? Are we achieving something with this scene? And are we telling a story? And you want the scene to be doing multiple things at the same time and really have a purpose. And I, I think probably that. I find the scenes very easy because I think it's just like a dance. I think with the intimacy coordinator that we had this year and the practice and kind of, you know, the fact that we've done two films with multiple intimate scenes in each of them, I think we're quite comfortable doing those scenes now. Listen, these guys are figuring it out too. I think it's entertaining watching them learn as they go and therefore I would definitely stress more to, to you know, see where they fail and I think that's a good thing not to, not to copy. I think the best thing someone could learn from Tessa or take from her is that life really doesn't go according to plan. I would be surprised if anyone's life was not full of completely unexpected turns and twists, accepting that, that like the only constant in life is change. Something probably meaningless about like, if you go to college, you'll meet a cute British boy. That's probably bad advice. Definitely don't, uh, don't copy hard and then make a bet about making someone fall in love with you and then just turning it off. Probably won't get you in anyone's good books anytime soon. Everyone's gonna take something different from these films. And yeah, they, they learn from Tessa and Harden's mistakes and, and what not to do in a relationship and that communication is really key and an openness and trust and it's something that takes time. Like Joe says, people take different things um, from them but they're not ultimately rule books or lessons for, for how to follow a relationship and therefore, interesting question but I, unfortunately I think I, I don't have the answers. I think everyone will find their own answer when they watch the film. Yeah.